Hello and welcome again to our latest uh, reflections on our years uh, in the ministry. I'm coming to the end of uh, my full-time active uh, life within the Methodist Church as a minister. So we're looking back over 30 years we've been in Sheffield and there's so much more we could say about our Sheffield years. Uh, the discipleship groups we had, we used the manse uh, and lots of people came along and eager to learn and get uh, and grow as disciples of Jesus. We had a Christians at Work group to support those Christians who were in the workplace situation, something that the church is sometimes neglected. We had uh, Cliff College weekends. We took groups to Spring Harvest, which was really good. We led uh, a pilgrimage to the Holy Land. And a particular highlight of that was when a young couple, Greg and Liz, who were about to get married, when we went to Cana, which is this, this, the place where Jesus performed his main, uh, first miracle, changing the water into wine at a wedding, uh, we prayed and asked for God's blessing on uh, Liz and Greg. That was a, a wonderful uh, time and a great memory. Um, our two churches, Wesley Hall and Walker Ebenezer, were working together on, on some aspects, so that was good. In fact, they're now one church, still the two buildings, but one church. Uh, you went back to work, didn't you? I did. That was a shock to the system as well. <laughs> um, something that I not really intended to do, but quite um, an interesting story that I'm not going to re really tell you about. But I ended up being a note taker um, and mentor for students, disabled students at Hallam University, which was fascinating. Um I just loved being part of that whole learning situation, learning about all sorts of different disciplines from education, computer science, did a whole social work degree with three lads, um, architecture, um, Japanese, uh, that was very interesting, um, but all manner of different subjects and very, very interesting. And continue that when we move to Doncaster. I did as well, indeed, didn't you? yes. Can I, can I also just say at this point how much we've appreciated um, some of you from our past lives getting in touch? Yeah, um, brilliant. That's been absolutely brilliant. Um, not only did you bless us when we were with you, but you continue to bless us today. So Amen. thank you. Yes, thank you. And um, do keep getting in touch, com commenting on uh, on what we're doing. So. We need to move on now to quite a traumatic little episode, well, a big episode, really. I told you uh, last time that I made very good friends with a, a man called Alan Whiteley, who was an Anglican minister. He developed cancer, we prayed for him, he, he, he got well again, but then it came back. And to cut a very long story short, Alan died and I was absolutely gutted. I just couldn't understand why God had allowed that. Anyway, a particular week... We had our particular day in January 2000. We had a Alan's funeral. I was one of the coffin bearers. I led the prayer, some of the prayers, which was really tough. So we came from that. Then we went to visit uh, next our next door neighbour who'd had a stroke in the hospital. Then we got home, just wanted to chill out and, and recover. And I got a, a phone call from the, the chair of district who said, Can I come and see you? And I couldn't really say no. So he came round and Again, to cut a long story short, he said, look, there's this church in, in Doncaster that really needs a minister. Would you consider moving? Well, that really put the cat among the pigeons because we'd agreed to stay in Sheffield another uh, three years. And we had, it, it was a new millennium. We had all, all sorts of dreams and visions for what was going to happen in Sheffield in our churches and and uh, really looking forward to that. So to now think of us being pulled out of there and going somewhere else was was really hard and uh, we, we prayed and agonised over it and uh, it was one of the toughest decisions we've had to make in those 30 years but eventually we came to the conclusion that it was right that we move on didn't we and uh, I remember one Sunday morning after we'd made the decision uh, I was at Wed Walkley Ebenezer and Sue was, went to Wesley Hall our other church and at the end of the service at Walkley I announced this to the church there and, and Sue asked if she could make an announcement at the end of the service at Wesley Hall and, and we were both in tears weren't we? Yeah. It was but I felt, strange enough I'm feeling myself <laughs> welling up again. Uh, that was a really tough time and and so we had to pack up and uh, we moved to Doncaster. We did believe it was God's God in it 
But otherwise, he would have said no. But it was one of the hardest things we'd ever had to do. Mm. And uh, when we got to to Doncaster, um, you particularly found it really hard to settle, didn't you? And mm. when we initially got there, anybody came to the doors to welcome <laughs> us. Sue would hide away in the kitchen; she just couldn't face anybody. So. Uh, but we believe God was in it, and we spent the next 12 years in Doncaster, mm-hmm. so something must have happened there. Um, can, can I just tell a couple of things that happened? That Steph, our, our middle child, um, she was um, going to apply to Sheffield University to study paediatric nursing, and it's very difficult to get on the course. So there's about 25 applicants for every place. And she came back. And she said, oh, she says, they've given me an unconditional place. Uh, but there was just one thing. She said, I, I was going to the um, lady who works out the placements before you go. And she said, I could see she was sort of getting ready for a row. And she said to me, well, the only placement I can offer you is in Doncaster. And Steph said, oh, well, that's all right then. And this lady was flabbergasted, but... It was just part of, I think, the process of God sorting out the details um, before we went. And when I, when we actually arrived, the first Sunday we were there, we went with a friend to a different church because we'd not actually started work. And I met somebody who was uh, working in the nursery at Sheffield Hallam University where I worked. And they were able to offer me a lift to work every day to start with. Um, So I I felt that even though we were quite nervous about this whole thing, God was working out the details and putting things in place for us. So what's that saying? Uh, The Lord works in mysterious mysterious ways, his wonders to perform. Certainly does. So anyway, that's enough for today. We've probably gone over time, but thank you so much for listening. And we'll talk a little bit more tomorrow about our Doncaster time. God bless you.